44. I have done three rounds. I am 5'6", and I am, my current weight is 186. I started at 256 pounds. I've gone from a size 22 down to a size 12 now. I'm 60. I'll be 61 at Christmas time. And my goal when I turned 50 was to be the same size and weight I was at 15. And I was able to do that, about 125. Um, I am 5'6 to 5'7, and I weigh about 127. Well, my starting point was 167, so about 40 pounds. You had mentioned to me you started around 270, and now you're like in the 160s? Um, as of uh, just a few minutes ago, when I got home from work, I was at 168.6. How has your clothing size changed from the start to now? Drastically. Um, it's even to the point that in the, the four rounds I've done, I've lost a shoe size. So you said that was skin tight on you when you started HCG? Wow, I can't believe it. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. And then after I finished my first round, I was uh, down to a size 20. Okay, so 28 to 20. After round eight. one. Wow. I lost about 55 pounds and I went from uh, a size 12 to a size 2 and I feel great. That's so good. You've lost 127 pounds and now you've been maintaining that weight loss for a full year. Yep, 100%. My highest weight was 281. 281, okay, gotcha. 281 pounds, I think it was around size 24. Okay. And so I'm five nine, so you know I was tall and yeah. round, and then went down to the side. I'm in a comfortable fourteen now. They're kind of a little bit loose on me, yeah. actually. So I could probably go in twelve if I wanted to. That's really cool. And I'm 195. Last time I checked. Well, uh, just for right now, I am five nine, and like I said, just barefoot. And I don't know what I weigh because I threw my scale away a couple of years ago. But I did, uh, 30 minutes prior to this call, I measured my weight. Oh, okay. And uh, it's 32 inches cool. at the smallest. Cool. And I think that ever, I the smallest I ever was as a juvenile was 30 inches. Well, I started um, January 2011. It was January 18th, 2011. And on that day, I weighed 204 pounds. And as of today, um, which is kind of my LBW on this last round I just did. Um, I'm 121.2. Gotcha. So it's, as of today, it's 82.8 pounds loss. I'm five, four and a half. Five, four and a half. Yeah. So I have to say though, um, really quickly though, the majority of my weight that I lost was in three rounds. Well, I started out at 220.2, which was my ultimate high ever. Um, so I started HCG then, and right now I'm at 140 on the dot. So That's amazing. So that's a, just almost exactly 80 pounds, right? Yeah, 80.2, yeah. That's amazing. So I started from a 16.18, forcing a 16. Um, and right now I'm down to a six eight. I can just depending on the brand, I can get into six and other ones I need an eight. So my last measurements um, from the chest alone, I lost, let's see here. Uh, sorry, about nine inches. From the abdomen, I lost twelve. From the hips, I lost ten. Um, thighs, I lost three, I'm sorry, five, and the arms, I lost three. Yeah, and I would say that I lost no muscle because I lift weights and I've never had an issue where I felt like my weights decreased. My weight has always significantly increased each workout. So I started HCG September 3rd, 2012 um, at 227.6 um, and then uh, did a did a full round, 40 day round, I guess. Um, and I lost 24.2 pounds. Um, round two, I started um, January of 2013 at uh, 204.8 and I got down to 184 and I lost 20.8 pounds.
And then round three, um, March 10th, 2013, I started at 187.8 and I ended um, at 158 and I lost 29.8 pounds, but that was an extended round. So I started at um, like size 16 jeans and I'm down to like um, size six, um, size four. And then like my shirts would be extra large, large, and now I fit in like smalls. So I'm um, 23 years old. I started HCG um, last May. I was 158 pounds. Uh, I just got engaged, so I was really motivated to lose the weight. Um, and I'm ending, I was a size 12 to 14, and I ended it um, 133, and I wear about a size 2 to 4. Okay, cost. And, and you said you're 5'3", right? 5'3". We have um, with two rounds and then the phase three and then the moving into phase four, I've lost almost as of this morning 60 pounds. That is amazing. And so, where was your starting weight and where my, you my starting weight was after loading on the first round was 200.5, and this morning I was um, 141.1, something like that. Yeah, I lost 50 pounds in 60 days on P2. 60 days straight. Wow, that is amazing. Because I was thinking if you started at 183 and you lost 50 pounds, then that would have brought you down to 133. Um, well, I started at 200 and I ended at 120. My starting weight was 157.63 pounds, that was 71.5 kilos. Okay. And right now I am 100 and, well, 120 pounds, so that's a total weight loss of 37.92. Um, and just so you guys know, uh, Patty is only five foot one, like me, so because some of the viewers out there who are taller, they might be thinking like, oh, I just would kill to get to 150 pounds, you know, but when you're short like us, that makes us overweight. Um, I'm five four. Um, I work in healthcare, so I'm up on my feet a lot. Um, I started out at 197 pounds, and at the end of round two, I was at 150. That's Since fine. then, I've gone down to like 141. In, in total, I lost 44.5 inches. Yeah. Um, the one thing that, that, um, my waist when I started was, um, 39 inches. Yeah. And today it's 31. My starting weight, uh, in January was 306. Um, and I was in like a size, I was squeezing into a 22, but I, yeah. Yeah. Should have been a 24. So I was in a 22 pants and a 3XL shirt. And I did three long rounds. And I am now at 202. Um, well, I ended at 202. I kind of fluctuate a little bit. Of I'm, course. I'm That's with. totally normal. Yeah. Um, and I am in a size 12 pants and a large shirt. Okay. I'm 49. Um, I'm short. I'm five foot two. Uh, so, um, and I started um, my HCG. I st my heaviest weight. I was 232 pounds, but I started my HCG journey at 205, and I'm currently at 144. And in P3, I'm I'm at the latter part of P3 right now, and maintaining uh, perfectly and stabilizing perfectly. So that's great. I turned 46 during the round, and I am 5'7". I lost 16, about 16 pounds in 22 days. Awesome. So I've done HCG five or six rounds, um, to, uh, losing a total of um, about 50 pounds. Um, but I went from a size 14 to a size 4. Um, I'm now 122 pounds, and um, which is basically what I weighed when I graduated from high school. 
my first round I started in um, the beginning of 2011 and I was, um, well, at the end of 2010, I was 212 and then I started at 206. Okay, gotcha. So 206. And then where did you eventually get down to? Um, in 2013, I got down to um, 142. Cool, cool. So yeah. I think that was around 80 pounds, right? I can't remember. But... Well, it, there was 80 included gaining and losing and gaining and losing and gaining and losing. Sure, yeah. gotcha. Okay. <laughs> So tell me, um, last time you had finished at losing 111 pounds and you were about 151, tell us where you're at now after this next round you did. I, I'm at 137, at 137.4. Cool. So, and my goal, I just wanted to get into the 130s, but specifically I kind of wanted to be at 138. Yeah. Um, that's just where I was in high school and where I was before I had my kids, and yeah. so that's kind of, so... I hit my goal. Wow. So you you are now what you weighed when you first had your kids, you said? Yeah, before I before. had, yeah. And when I was in, in high school, yeah. Wow. That's so amazing. Thing. Crazy. And now, how has your size changed? You were an 8'10 at 151. Where are you at now? I I can wear sixes a lot. Yeah. Um, some of my, some of the clothes that I have, I, um, still wear, I was, and last time too, I could wear an eight ten or a 12. It just sure. depended on. Yeah. And it's just so like probably kind of the eights thing. are really comfortable now. Right. Yeah. 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 So, awesome. and I have some, like some of my dress pants that I just recently bought, they were four sixes and I actually had to sew the waist because the oh. waist was too big. Wow. So cool. It kind of varies too, just in the different styles. That's but, awesome. Uh, as of May, I'm 40, and I'm 5'2", and I'm, I don't think I'm getting any taller. I think I've, I've finally given up the, uh, Hoping. the, the hope. <laughs> yeah, and I keep telling my son, like, he's going to be, like, my height probably when he's, like, 11. I mean, that's so weird. Right, right. <laughs> that's not fair. Yeah, I know. That's uh, so bizarre. <laughs> um, right now, I weigh 183 pounds. Uh, sorry, 183.4. Okay. Um, and I started after my load, my first, uh, I did a three day load, by okay. the way, in January of this year, I was at 249.9, wow. which was the biggest I'd ever been, um, in my life. And wow. I was ready to have done with it, you know? Yeah. Her current body fat percent when she did this came out from the testing at 23%. Um, and again, tell us how old you are as well. I'm 63. 63 years old now. So 23%, yeah. so just to give you guys an idea of what that is, I actually have a little, I'm gonna post um, pictures of it on the video and also in the blog post. There are what are called body fat percent charts. And um, there's one, like a basic one, is called the ACE body fat percent chart. And for women, it will tell you, like, at this level, you're considered an athlete. At this level, it's, you know, fitness. Then there's average, and then there's obese. So at the level that Janie's at, between 21 and 24% body fat, that's considered fit, fitness. So, and she's 63. She's at a fit body fat level, you guys, after losing 100 and something pounds, you know, with just HCG on 500 calories. Then they actually have a second body fat percent chart that's also based on age. Um, so they have, it's kind of like a sliding scale as you get older. Um, and according to that chart, it has a category for 56 years and up as a woman. And with that chart, anything under 26% body fat is considered lean. And again, she's at 23%. Mm. Um, yeah, so that's just like phenomenal. I don't remember exact dates and everything, but I started out um, in six months. I lost 110 pounds, and uh, it was something that I pushed towards. I didn't think it was possible, but after I lost uh, 40 pounds in the first uh, my first uh, round, uh, I was like, "Wow, I could do this!" You know, I just felt so good about it, and I felt so positive that I can do something. Uh, when it got closer to my six months, I'm like, "I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hit 100." And I hit 100, and I'm like, "I." 
I got a couple more days. I'm gonna hit it one more time. I hit wow. one more Apple day before I got my last weigh in. Yeah. 110. That is 110 amazing. Down. So what was your starting weight then? I think it was 345. So you were um, actually quite heavy. Then, I, what's that? You were quite heavy then. Yeah, I was a big boy. Well, I'm a I'm six six and Oh right, it, you're really tall. Yeah, it is so it's everywhere. It looked like I was stung by a lot of bees if you look at some of my pictures. <laughs> oh but, uh, it, no, I uh that's definitely like I think it was like stage or class two obese. Yeah. You look at like the BMI level. And uh that was uh, pretty scary. There was a lot of I had a lot of physical problems. I was on a lot of medication um that uh, was dealing with the reasons why I was having, you know, problems because of my weight. It's if I keep doing what I did, I'll always get what I got. And what that meant was that I really had to change. And in truth, in my first two rounds with HCG, I really didn't change. I lost weight and I had read stories about people who could eat everything. And so as soon as phase two was done, I did that. And I really, I really didn't connect to the fact that if I keep eating the way I used to eat, I'm going to be who I used to be. And HCG or not, that I really had to Well, technically, um, I lost um, 90 pounds, but I maintained an 80 pound loss. And you know, uh, 2000, I was going over my notes. 2009, I had gotten up to 247. That was the last number I'd seen on the scales. And so I'd done a little uh, protocol that we had at my work, and I'd lost 20 pounds and then went on a cruise with my husband. And then um, over the course of the next couple of months, just went back to eating the way I had been eating. The holidays came and I found uh, about 12 pounds of that back. Gotcha. And so when I started the HCG protocol after a certain research with um, another one of our patients, actually, um, I started April of 2010 at 235. Okay. And um, that was a very um, 18, size 1820, very tight 20. And um, I'm a little smaller on the top than I am on the bottom, so I always was in kind of two sizes. I'm right now into a very comfortable 12. Cool. And um, occasionally, if I get a larger 10, I can wear a 10, and uh -huh. I'll even wear it in public. I used cool. to say just I will wear it in the um, the dressing room, but I wouldn't come out in public. So now I have a 10 that I can wear out in public. Cool. So. I am 58 years young, um, almost 59. Uh, I'm five foot, five and a half inches tall. And um, I went from uh, 223 pounds and then some uh, last February to uh, 148 just uh, uh, end of November. And um, Let's see, clothing size. I was I was down to one pair of pants I could wear, and they were real stretchy ones. So I think I was 20, 20, 22. Um, and currently, um, I'm size 8 to 10. I am 43 and a half. I am 154.5 centimeters, which is 5 foot 1 nearly. <laughs> five foot one inches, and I'm 121 pounds at the moment, so that's 55 kilos. Um, I like to sit around 52 kilos, which is, I don't know, 116 pounds maybe. But I like to do it as a detox once a year, the HCG protocol, just a three week one, just to clean things out. Yeah, but that's what I'm at the moment. Yeah, I think it's um, interesting. I'm 19, 20% body fat at the moment at 121 pounds. Thanks yeah. for sharing that. Uh, I am 6'2", and I think I used to be 6'3". I am 53 years old. Uh, today I weighed in at 345, you gotcha. know, point something. Um, I have been as heavy as 485 before. About eight weeks on a low calorie diet and you lost about 65 pounds.
Sure. Well, I will be 42 in May, so coming up on my 42nd birthday. Um, I do have type 2 diabetes, um, which is one of my main motivators for starting the HCG. Um, and I do, I take med, meds for hypothyroid. Okay. And then I have, um, I also deal with polycystic ovarian syndrome. I am, I started at 427 pounds. And as of yesterday, I was at uh, two. 83. So I think that's just about 150 pounds even. Yeah. And you're uh -huh. tall, right? You're 5'11". I'm 5'11". So yeah. <laughs>
and I started out at 153, which I was like, oh my God, when I stood on the scale, I was like, I can't believe it's because I, you know, I hadn't weighed myself in so long. And I got down to 135. Cool. And I felt so good. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like me again. (laughs) I was like a really tight, I was like a tight eight. Yeah. And, but you know, like you're kind of in denial a little bit and you're like, oh, you know, like I'm not going up in size. Like you just. My clothes shrunk because I washed them too many times. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah. But then when, like, when I got down to my lowest weight at 135, I was like a six, but a loose six. Like I was kind of between a four and a six. Awesome. Now I'm like pretty much like, cause I, I've started exercising and building muscle and, um, again. And so now I'm like perfect six awesome. pretty much. So I'm 5'6". Um, I have not revealed my starting weight yet, um, and I don't really want to do that until I hit my actual goal. Um, I know it's just a number, but it's just a horrible number, and I really don't want to go there. Um, however, um, I'm 49 years old, and I um, started the HCG um, May of 2015. And when I started, I was wearing size 26, 28, which was the largest that you could get at a plus size store. I mean, I know online you can go and buy bigger, um, right. but it was it was getting very scary because, it, I mean, you already feel limited when you go into the plus size stores and then to find that, you know, you might have to even go a step further and it's, yeah. it's just a horrible like you're feeling. you out of options. And, yeah. Right, right. And it's, they're just not cute and, you know, and there's so much more money, which is, pet peeve of mine. Um, so, you know, I just, I just had to do something. And now at 130 pounds down, I can actually walk into a store and buy a large shirt off the rack. That's awesome. And that's wonderful. You know, I'm 5'6". I'm 5'3", so short-ish. Um, I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism a few years ago. Um, I had to have a radical hysterectomy, um, 2013, I think. Um, and so I take bioidentical hormones, or well, I actually, you know, pellets, I use the pellets, but, um, you know, was, was in a, uh, my hormones were really messed up for a long time. Well, I did three rounds. Uh, it was it was like 189, 190, and then I gained only a pound, even though I ate like a horse. Right. <laughs> Loading the first time, but yeah, it was 190. Gotcha. Um, and so today I'm 146, and um, I have my inches written down yeah. um, in the workbook because I, I ordered your workbook, oh, which nice. was a life saver for me because if I wouldn't have tracked, it would have, yeah, it would have been in this notebook here and that notebook here and whatever. But anyway, I did write them down. I don't have it with me, sure. but I can tell you that my waist was a 40 and now it's a 32. So, so yeah, so I'm 5'4", and the only health concern I have is um, hypothyroidism. Yeah. you actually and, diagnosed with Hashimoto's, too. Yes, and so it was interesting. I never knew I had Hashimoto's. I knew that I had an underactive thyroid, and yeah. I was being medicated for that through my general physician. Yeah. Um, and then before I went on HCG, the first time I went to a doctor, and, and she had me undergo thorough testing, which I respected, thorough testing before I could start. And through that, I discovered that I actually had Hashimoto's. I lost, in this round, I lost, I believe it was 28 pounds. Um, And then previously, I had lost 27. That was two years ago. Um, But then I gained all of it back plus some (laughs) on the first time I did it. Um, This time, I maintained, I actually lost two pounds during P3 and then maintained that weight throughout P3. That's 
Well, I just turned 60 years old a couple of weeks ago. Okay. And I weigh 20, 127, 130. I'm just happy because I'm at the weight. It is very comfortable for me. I am literally the same size that I was after I gave birth to my daughter at 25. Wow. Yes, I lost 28 pounds. Nice. I went from 172 to 144. And um, I feel like I'm a little bit smaller than I was before at the 144. That's usually what I stay around. I'm 5'6". Yeah. yeah. Um, right now, I am 24. When I started this journey, it was right when I hit 20. Um, I felt like I needed a change, you know. I am 5'1 and a half. The half is important. <laughs> And uh, something that I struggled with is stress-induced narcolepsy. So anytime my heart rate and, and like stress level gets above a certain level, I actually fall asleep. So yeah. I was always like really hesitant to work out and stuff because, you know, I don't want to pass out in the middle of a, of a gym sesh. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. I've never even heard of that. That's so I, can't, I don't exactly know what my starting weight was, but right now I am 145. Wow. Which is a big difference. <laughs> yeah. So 145 and then you were... You think something over 200? At least, at least. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, because. I did about, I think I've done, this is probably round number five or six. I did about 2009, I started, um, did three rounds really well, um, lost, I went from 240 to 140, so I lost almost 100 pounds. Okay, my P2, I, I was at a um, little over 170, and now I'm at 155, which is great. I'm right at goal weight. I'm 5'7", so um, that's all great, And um, but it's still, I, there's no other way for me to lose weight. It's, I've tried everything, and I just don't lose any weight. So It's just such it, a common thread, you know, and I, I feel like it's just such a testament to the power of the HCG protocol. Because so many women say that. They're like, I'm not crazy, I'm, I know I'm eating right, and I'm exercising, and it doesn't budge, or I gain weight. And there, there's, a real, there's a real problem behind that with the hormone levels or whatever, and then somehow the HCG protocol is able to like rise above all that, you know? I'm 45 years old, and um, I, uh, I actually do have celiac disease. Oh. Um, so I've been eating um, gluten-free for about three or four years, gotcha. um, and uh, but I also have you know a, a problem with my thyroid, so it's just so hard to keep the weight down, and it just keeps sneaking up. And um, so I start my starting weight was I actually had not gone on up the scale for almost two years, gotcha. and I was like I I have no idea what I weigh. Yeah. And I, and I got on, it was worse than I thought. Was so, um, I weighed 164.8 was my starting weight. Yeah. And so um, I had lost 20 pounds. Um, I think I was probably um, like maybe two or three days into P3 when I could actually start your program. Yeah. It was amazing. Like I just followed it and I, I, I felt more satisfied eating your way on P3 and I lost eight pounds and it was way easier than I never had a problem. Like I didn't have. So great. So I'm 5'7 and right now I'm at um, 167 and I started at 203. So I lost a total of 35 pounds. Um, it was my very first round. So I've only done, you know, the phase one and two one time. Um, just finished phase three a few weeks ago and have been maintaining ever since. So so I went from like a 16 to a 10. Um, I can squeeze into an eight and some things if I really, really try, but. Like when you haven't eaten breakfast yet. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's very strange. I'm one of the only people in the United States. So in 2012, I was admitted to the hospital not knowing what was wrong with me and it ended up I had a necrotic stomach. So my stomach basically killed itself 
which is strange. Wow. They have no idea why. They haven't been able to figure out how or why it happened. Um, but I'm basically relatable to people who had stomach cancer and had to have their stomach removed because of the cancer. I was lucky enough not to have to go through the cancer part. Um, gotcha. But they removed my entire stomach. Wow. And so my esophagus is attached to my small intestine. I was, my sixes were getting really, really tight. Yeah. And no, I got into back, this is, I don't even know why I kept this thing. It's this little tiny jean skirt that's yeah. like a two. Yeah. And that again. And so you I'm shocked. That? <laughs> now I'm 29, but when I did the HCG, I was 28. Um, I lost a good 30 pounds on the HCG. And then um, after that, I did a round of Lipomax, and I lost about eight pounds on that. And then after two weeks of that, I did a vitamin B12 round, and I lost another eight pounds on that. Okay, so you were 170 when you started, around a size 12, and then you ended up at 120? 120. And what size was that? What size are you now then? Um, at the end of it, I went to a size four, but as I've been toning, I went down to a size two. Wow. I had to in all my, went on Poshmark and got rid of a lot of my size fours and traded them into size twos. Oh my gosh. And I don't think we mentioned this yet, you guys, but she is post-menopause. With the hold round, I went down, I think, 26 pounds. Okay, that's great. And so, and how many days were you on that that round? Um, forty. Forty days. Okay. Um, I was doing prescription, but I was doing nasal spray. Okay, so a nasal spray. Well, I'm fifty six. I just turned fifty six in December, and I'm five foot three. I started off the HCG protocol at about 135, and now I am 120 pounds. I lost 15 pounds, which was amazing, and I'm maintaining it really well. So, yeah. <laughs> so you had also mentioned that your metabolism, like, for instance, the reason you were gaining the weight was that you were eating healthy and eating lower calorie but still gaining weight, right? Something yes. like that. Exactly. My metabolism, I'd had you know, several surgeries from having had cancer, and from all the surgeries and from the anesthesia. I, it's like my metabolism shut off. I, if I had some thyroid issues and I was eating less than 1,200 calories a day and just gaining weight and it was, we had a joke that I could sniff food and gain weight. <laughs> and I eat really healthy, I have been gluten free and sugar free, I don't drink and so it was, there was, it felt like there was nothing I could do about it. I tried so many things and nothing was helping. I started on September the 16th, 2012, and I was around 210, and then I loaded, and I got to 214.5, and um, I lost pretty rapidly in the beginning, but it was kind of difficult um, at first, and I know we'll get to that, and the first round, I believe I lost 27 pounds, and then I lost an additional 11 during um, the P3 and P4. Okay, gotcha. And then I started a new round after that at 182. Okay, now you're on round two right now, right? So how, right. how's that going? How many days has it been? It's going great. Um, I'm on day 48. I decided to extend it a little bit because I had a couple stalls during this round, and I had enough HCG to extend it to about 55 days. Okay. And I have lost um, over 30 pounds on this round. Wow. I think it's like a... 31 or something. I started at 182 and I'm at 150.8 as of this morning. Um, I'm 5'7 and I started at 215 and right now I actually just finished uh, round round five. <laughs> Tried to forget, I was forgetting there. Um, and I'm in the 72 hour period right now. So um, so yeah, just transitioning, but I'm at 149 um, today, so I've been hovering. So um, so yeah, I'm happy. I wanted to get into the, the 140s, and we did it. So. Awesome. So about 66 yeah. pounds. Yes. How has your size changed with that weight change for you? 
Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. I went from a 20, um, when I was at my biggest and that was like, you know, pretty fitted. Yeah. Um, and I would always wear old Navy because, um, I felt like it was, uh, it, it like fit my shape, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> so everything right. I wore was old Navy. Sure. Um, and then by the time I, or I guess where I am at now, I, um, I generally shop different, but I wear probably about an eight to a 10. Uh, she's lost 85 pounds HCG injections um, in two rounds. Went from a size 24 to a size 8. I am 43 years old. Um, I am 5 foot 4, not very tall. <laughs> um, I have always been a thick girl, so um, didn't really start my real, real struggle until after I had my children. Um, I ended up at one point actually having my stomach stapled uh, because of my weight issue. And I ended up having to have a hysterectomy. And within a month of that, my weight problems started again. Wow. And I, I didn't realize at that time it was a hormonal thing. I wasn't even aware that I was diabetic. Um, and my doctor, as part of his protocol, they did blood work at the beginning of the, uh, of, of the diet. And um, two weeks later, after I had already started the diet, is when I got my results, and I found um, I was diabetic and didn't even know it. Wow. Yeah. And at that time, the doctor told me that he felt we would just go ahead and continue the diet, and um, no medication at that point, that he felt we could get it under control with the diet, yeah. and we did. Uh, after my, after my last injection, um, we went ahead and did the blood work again, and diabetes was gone. That is so awesome.